it's not like people abroad don't need money. I'm just, I'm just like, ah, uh -uh. it's, it's supposed to be the other way around. They're abroad. You're supposed to be sending me money. That's so disgusting. That's disturbing. If you didn't learn anything at all, don't do drugs. That's one thing you can take home. I'm sorry. What was she doing? She, she could like, she wasn't like. I can't even speak properly because it was such a bad acting from her. Like, because ah, that was that was wild. Hi guys, my name is Uloma and welcome to Uloma and Kachin. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do, subscribe. And if you're not new, welcome back home. Guys, today I'll be talking about Glamour Girls. Have you seen in the title? Um, I would like to give a huge shout out to the Nigerian movie review on Instagram. I was able to check and see some things for this um, video. And um, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so Glamour Girls is the remake of the 1994 Glamour Girls starring Nikaria Zakoji. This 2022 Glamour Girls is starring Sharon Oja as Emma, Inse Ekpe Etim as Donna, Jocelyn Dumas as Jenna, Shegi Lola Ogiden as Helion, Tokema Kinwa as Louise. So those are the people, those are the few people, those are the Glamour Girls in the movie. And um, it was directed by Bumi. A Jackie, I don't know how to pronounce the name, I'm so sorry. And it premiered on June 24th, 2022. And people have a lot to say about this movie, and I also have a lot to say too. So, um, first things first is people are complaining about the acting. I really didn't have a problem with the acting, to be honest. I felt everybody acted, but my best actress in the movie was Shaggy Lola. Like, I really liked her. Okay, Inse was the best actually. But Shaggy Lola, she was in a Nigerian Christmas. A Niger Christmas, and she was the girl with the drug addict issue with in this movie. She acted really well. I liked her acting. I, I just really liked her acting. The only problem I had in this movie was Tokyo Makinwa. Tokyo Makinwa is not an actress, so should we really have a problem with that? She's not an actress, so we don't expect her to give us act, the great acting. She, yes, she has appeared in few movies, but it's not like she was... She, her character was really solid, unlike this movie. Her character was quite solid in this movie, unlike the other movies she has been. She really has all these few, few... Cam Few, few scenes in other movies but yeah she was very like important so that's about the acting then the flash drive issue that was like everybody's problem here in this movie the flash drive spots everything because we didn't understand it how many flash drives were there were they like i feel like there were like four flash drives first things first the flash drive came into scene when we saw the it was a pendant on alexander if you've not watched the movie i'm giving spoilers already so if you've not watched the movie i don't know what to do so the flash drive issue came in with um, Alexander when it's when him and Justin Dumas were in the room. So he was saying that he's a boy boy to the big men, to the rich men. But he's also rich. So he's an accountant, he's the one that manages the money of these rich men. So Justin Dumas was not like, how can you a boy boy? He now she now looked at his chain, was not like this is not small boy boy, like this is not a boy boy's chain. That's the introduction to that flash drive. And then he dies, and then the flash drive becomes the issue. She finds the flash drive. They try to hack the flash drive so that they can see money. I didn't understand that one, to be honest. I didn't understand it. I thought if, if it was a laptop, it would have made more sense, but they cannot duplicate like many laptops because <laughs> there were like about four flash drives. You had the first one. The first one was um, the original one. Then the second one was the one that the bodyguard gave um, Duna, that's Inse. And Inse gave it to Chief and came, that's Ejike Ashigo. And the, the flash drive was empty, that's the second one. Then you have the third one that the bodyguard put, like he, we saw him stealing it. He now put it in Sharonja's bag. That was the third one. And then they, 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 they said, Sharonja put it back on him. They searched him and they found it. They found their money, 15 billion. And then, the fourth one was the one Inse had in her hair. How did Inse get it on her hair? That's the only issue me I have here. How did she get that one? I feel like, okay, she was, because the flash drive problem, she didn't know about it. She was in Lebanon. She called Temison. I don't know his name in the movie, but he was like her guy in the movie. He used to transform the girls. She called Temison. That she, Temison now said that they are trying to hack the flash drive. So did it mean that he stole one flash drive? 
and then he quits his job and give the flash drive to Insay. Because I really do understand. I do understand because we all found out that um, Temiso was no longer. He said that he he didn't want to deal with the problem. He left them. I really do understand the flash drive issue. And then the third one I have, third, one of the third problems I have was the death of the pedophile um, Alexandra. Okay, we all knew that Alexandra was sleeping with Justin Dumas' son, which was very wrong. Like, that was just like, come on, that boy's like 12 years old, he's too old. And you're a grown ass man. And you are sleeping with him. That's so disgusting. That's disturbing. And then she kills the guy. We don't know how he died, but we shall know that she killed him. And then he dies. They hide the body and everything. We don't know where they hid the body. I'm coming to do more. I'm coming to what you're thinking. We don't know where they hid the body. And then the chief, the the people he works for, Alexandra's um, the people at the top, the chief, and came and other people starts calling Donna, asking for the disappearance of Alexandra. From the disappearance of him, it turns out that they didn't really care about this guy. They only care about their money. That's that's why he, that's what it is. Because if it was about the guy, they would have they would have done proper investigation for this the missing of this guy. Do I am do I pity him? No, he was a pedophile. He was sleeping with a small boy. I don't really pity him. I felt like it's good as he died. His character ended. And did you know that Lynx played Alexandra? I did not know until when I was doing the research yesterday. I was so surprised. Wow, that was really shocking. Then, Helion, I think that was like one of my favorite characters, even though she was doing drugs. This is just a moral story, don't do drugs. That's one thing at least you should have learned in this movie. You didn't learn anything at all. If you didn't learn anything at all, don't do drugs. That's one thing you can take home. Helion, I feel she portrayed it. Like, she was my best actress. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Shegilola, Shegilola Ogidon. I think that, I don't know how to pronounce her name. But like Killian was like one of my best in this movie. I really liked how she portrayed. She's a really fine girl. She's really black. She's really beautiful. Her natural hair is very fine. She she was dressed. I I really liked her in the movie. She was I really liked her. She gave us a different side. I really I've not really seen her in many movies like that. Aside Niger Christmas, I maybe one or two. And then this one. This was like a career boost for her, to be honest. I that's how I feel. She was really nice. She died because she overdosed. Don't do drugs. That's the moral story. Then I felt another problem with this movie was that the acting or the storyline was not really in sync. I didn't really like it wasn't it wasn't like going smooth. It was going smooth at the point until the death or until Alexander death happened. The red chair, everything like it just everything just started going south or north or whatever they call it. Like it started going in wrong directions. It was going well and well and well. We we're managing it, we we're managing it, and then everything just like that's one, one of the problems. I really don't even know which particular scene ha I had a problem with. There were many disturbing scenes in this movie. Like, they were really, if you watch it again, they are really disturbing mo scenes in this movie. I'm not even joking. I like the glamour of like the glitz and glam of like the whole movie. You can, I mean, the movie was not that bad, but like, let's just give them their flowers for how they were able to represent glamour in a really st like it was ah, that place that they were on the yacht oh my god it was really nice the the dresses the hair everything they all looked cute they were able to portray that oh money is really good that's how they, that's what i just learned that whoa money is good you look good when you have money like this is not actually my skin color when i have money you see my proper skin color this wall and i will be competing or this door and i will be competing for who is fairer, you get. So, another issue was um, the Lebanon issue. Okay. There was a statement that Chief in Kem's wife... Oh! I'm coming back to the acting. I mean, Bella Craig, I'm sorry, what was she doing? She, she could, like, she wasn't, like... I can't even speak properly because it was such a bad acting from her. Like, she... I didn't like her acting. She was the wife of Chief in Kem. Chiffin Ken was Ejika Shegun. Donna was sleeping with Ejika Shegun. So, when the flash drive, when Alexander died, Donna went to go and meet the wife. That's Abimbola Craig. I think, I she, like, she doesn't have to portray a, a wife of a chief. She didn't, she didn't kill it for me. I think, like, her and Tokyo Makinwa were, like, she was, they were so flat in the movie. I didn't really like their acting. Those are the two people that did act well in this movie. So 
she, I mean, she comes and give, gives I mean, Bella Craig a chair that has money. We're coming back to the chair, don't worry. That has money. And then she gives Donna an advice. She says that um, something, something that if you want to get them, get a bigger fish or something like that. So I felt like that was why she went to Lebanon because she told them she, everything went south for Donna. They were looking for their money. So in order to like play the game better, she had to go and get, I don't know, approval or something from the people, the bigger fish, which are the women in Lebanon. And they told her that they, and then she now told the Lebanon women her problem. They told her that she should wait. Okay. And then the next scene is the is the almost the end in the flash drive for her and everything where everybody's in the room. So what happened? Like, was it necessary? The Lebanon issue was not really necessary because if they told her to wait, they should have wait should have waited. But the next scene is the flash drive scene and the ending of the movie. So I really didn't get the I really didn't get that part. But I guess her going to Lebanon because she went to go and meet the bigger fish. But if they told her to wait, why did the movie end? I didn't get that. And then, then I said, like I said earlier, the red chair is one of the problems in this movie because I really do understand the red chair. Okay, so Alexandra dies in Justin Dumas' house. She kills him when she finds out that he's sleeping with her son. Okay, then the next morning, she probably told Donna, obviously, that like close. She told Donna that she killed somebody, blah, 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 blah. So then they not try and bring in a chair, they didn't see, because Donna said, Donna has an interior company, like she sells furniture and stuff. So they come in the morning and then they bring the, chair, the red chair and then they stuff the body of Alexandra inside the chair. And then another scene is the, another, is it the same red chair, but he has money inside. The one they gave Amimbala Craig. So the, is it like there were two red chairs or there was one red chair? Where is the body of Alexandra? That's another, that's another question we need to get answered. But that aside, there are many disturbing, like I said, very disturbing, scenes in this movie one of the first ones was when they were testing sharon oja that's emma so that she can know that if she's a proper ross girl that was when she had to sleep with donna's husband okay that was very that was and donna was watching that was very disturbing that was like why oh my goodness i don't normally like how they do it in movies that will give they'll give the girl to like one of the their best clients to sleep with not the not no, your husband. That was so disturbing. Like, as she watched them, that was a problematic scene. It was very disturbing and disgusting. Because, ah, that was, that was wild. And that scene was when they played this, um, your my, I don't even know the lyrics of the song. I just called it Sugar Plum Song here. When they played it in the club. Why did they play that kind of song in the club? I feel like they were. Ah, it was disturbing too. Like it was like okay. It's just like when they played the care at the party, but the care is understandable. But this one is like when you are playing Baby Shark in a in a club. Why are you playing that kind of song in the club? Ah, okay, okay. Let's end. Let's end that one. Did you know that another disturbing thing was that Alexander and Justin Dumas went to the hospital to remove her husband who was on life support. From life support. I mean, you could have gone with your son. You went with Alexandra. Okay, good and fine. Now, no, was it good and fine? No. It was not good and fine because you are going to remove your husband from life support. I mean, his husband is dying, and you went with your boy toy. That was that was that was another disturbing thing I didn't really like. And then when when I when we found out that um Alexandra was sleeping with Justin Dumas' son Essie. I actually did not know that. I thought because they showed us scenes before where he was being moody and all at a party and all. I thought maybe because his father died, that's why he was being sad. Because you watch the movie, his father died. So you're not thinking, oh, okay, this boy is still like sad that his father has gone. Only for us to find out that this boy was being molested by grown ass adults. That was really disturbing. I felt for the boy, to be honest. Because they told him that if they, the guy told um, S.A. that. If he tells his mother, she, she, he's going to kill her. So he was trying to protect his mother by not talking, and that's why he was moody all the time. It was understandable, but that was like, ah, I felt for the boy. It was really sad. And then, did, I, did you know that Lillian Affair was in this movie? I didn't know until I found the research. I saw her in one of the pictures. She even had a role, Majesty. 
like that was her name in the movie majesty i didn't under i didn't see her i have to go watch the movie again to see her because the picture i couldn't even recognize that that, oh, that was her i didn't even remember that part then links was alexandra that's what i said so like another issue now that we all need answers to is what happened in tokemakiwa's boutique when her husband came to, in the night with cutlass what was happening in that room what me i felt was that i felt people were sleeping together in once in that room then he now opened the door and now saw it that's what me i i felt and i thought but people nobody really knows what happened because when i saw reviews of people saying what happened in the boutique what happened in the room that he was carrying cutlass that why was she saying she's finished what was happening in the room i don't know what was happening but me what i what i when i was watching movie i felt okay people were sleeping together in that place and he saw it that oh she was lending her room for people to sleep with each other that's what me i felt and i don't know and then why don't i even ask token making one that that's didn't say ask token making one that why is she sending money to her husband abroad like i didn't i didn't understand that he was abroad and she was always sending money to him it's not like people abroad don't need money i'm just i'm just like uh -uh. It's, it's supposed to be the other way around they're abroad you're supposed to be sending me money even though I even said that, why you let abroad send? Why don't you allow the abroad people send you money? Why are you sending money to the abroad? I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't understand. I didn't understand. I want to know the story of, of um, of the of their marriage because she was married and she had two children and she was like a pimp. I didn't get it. I feel like the way the marriage. Oh my God, marriage is such a big deal. But like all these men, they were all married. Don um, Donna was married. That's insane. Justin Dimas was married. Um, this girl, Tokyo Makewa, was married. Ah, it was just, it was a lot. I know people want to talk about Justin Dumas acting. To me, to me, I felt that her acting was not bad. She killed Haru. If you notice, Haru was the woman that left the lifestyle. She, not that she left the lifestyle, she left the, um, the Ron's girl role. She left it, but then she needed to sell her land and she needed money and blah, 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 blah. That's why she came back. So she was, it was like, I've left this, I've not been in the game for so long and I'm back now. So she was kind of shy and like, she was nervous and all. She, she didn't, it's like doing something that you didn't want to do. But you know, you have to do it so that you can get money. That was how she was doing. That's how she, I felt like she acted well. It was not as bad as how people are saying. I felt like Tokyo Makima was like, Han, I've been black Craig. <sighs> Those were my only two problems in the movie, but I can't really say Toka Makima is a problem because she's not really an actress. Yes, in her bio, you see actress, but like, okay. In my bio, I can write dancer. I'm not a dancer, so I, I feel like everybody can write anything they want to write on their bio. But yeah, she has appeared in film, film movies, but like, she's not an incest level when it comes to acting. Or even Sharon Oja, come on. The movie was actually not as bad as... It's just that we need answers, and I felt like... If they did two hours in this movie, in the two hours, they should have been able to answer some of these questions, at least, if not all. They should have been able to answer at least few of these questions. Um, that's all for this movie. Um, I said movie. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you've not watched Glamour Girls and you've watched this movie, I just... I don't know. Should I say you should waste your time watching it? Watch it. No, really. Watch it so that you can see it from the director's eyes, not from my eyes, because I really don't know. It was to me, I enjoyed it. I I, I like I liked the movie. As far as I didn't see any issue with it, until they told me that they were backlashing it on on Twitter and all. And I think I check and see. I'm like, oh, okay, oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense now. What was happening? But as I was watching it, I was putting two and two together. Like I was doing the I was doing the math already. Like the boutique scene, I was already adding. Like okay, they don't want to show us unnecessary scenes. I was, that's what I was just doing in my head. But that's all, Sha. It was a nice movie. How will I rate it over 10? I think I'll just give it like a 7 over 10. Nigeria's, it was a 7 over 10 because it had a lot of unanswered questions. That's all. The acting was not as bad as how people are. Just, I mean, Black Craig. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. And I, I, I think she's one of the producers of the movie. If they want to do a remake, this is it don't spoil it i feel like people people have compared i've not watched 1994 i've not watched it but people said that one is way better than this do i do i blame do i is that is that going to be shocking no because in the early days movies are way better than what they're doing now because that time they were doing it for that was their passion they were not doing it for the money but now we all know that everything is about the money do i blame them for doing it for the money no but 
passion is like 60. Um, the passion is like 40. The money is for 60. So that's how it is. I've not watched the olden days, but like um this other one, living in bondage. I've not watched. I don't think I watched the olden days, living in bondage. But the modern day old one, I thought it could it could compete with the olden days one, and it was really nice. But this one, I don't think it, it can compete with the olden days one. If you want to do a remake, please do everything, but don't touch Most Wanted. If you're not going to kill it well, Most Wanted is one of like a 1998 movie. If starring Regina Askia. Nigerian producers and directors, if you're not going to kill the acting and everything of Most Wanted, don't do it, please. Don't spoil Most Wanted for me. I'm begging you. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in my next video. Follow me on Instagram at uloma underscore mbe and I'll see you later. See how she did stand for a corner. If you know man, I go like you to call her. She said she like up in me. Look